Like any other village boy in the remote areas of Malawi, Lazarus McCarthy Chakwera was born and enjoyed the privilege of being raised by his family. To subsistent farmers, Lazarus was born on 5th April 1955 in Nilongwe. At that time, Malawi was under the British colonial rule. I would say we were all, you know, born and raised at a time when the political uh, fires for independence across Africa were burning, uh, the winds of change. And so I, I was real young when um, uh, we noticed that um, in our village, uh, people came and were soldiers, and we run to the field. When we come back, our old folks had been taken. Uh, and so uh, they said, no, it is because they are activists in fighting for independence. And we began to learn about that. But uh, when, when Malacca Congress Party fought then um, uh, for independence of this country, uh, that has always been there. As a young boy, Chakwera was raised and educated in Malawi. Went on to secondary school in Dedza, Adam Tendere. Went on to Chancellor College and other institutions. God wanted me to do something in serving his people. And uh, I didn't know exactly what that service would take, you know, what form it would take. Uh, I thought, well, let me be a medical doctor because I was born with an impediment. I couldn't talk. Uh, still is a problem sometimes when there's too many people, but I was very self-conscious. So I said, well, dealing with one person at a time would be great. So uh, I wanted to do medicine. And I went to high school, Chichiri. But then I felt like, no, I don't think so. Uh, and at that time, I was privileged because I had uh, the high school selection came out first. When uh, the university selection came, I decided I would go to Chancellor College. And so that's, uh, uh, then I ended up uh, uh, studying arts, majoring in arts rather than... Chakwira graduated with a Bachelor's of Arts philosophy degree, studied theology and gained an honors degree, a Master's of Theology, from the University of South Africa in 1991. In 2000, he got awarded a doctorate degree from the Trinity International University in the United States of America. In 2005, Lazarus Chakwera became a professor at the Pan-African Theological Seminary. Married after my college days to a wonderful wife, Monica from Rumpi. I have uh, um, been blessed by that union and God has given us four children. Uh, these days, you know, um, I would love to just have a chance to watch soccer live, but it's difficult and so sometimes <laughs> I just um, I watch on television, but I love sport and um, athletics as well, you know, just sport in general. I love to listen to music. In August 2014, during the Malawi Congress Party Convention, Dr. Lazarus McCarthy Chakwera became the president of the Malawi Congress Party. Convention. Dr. But in terms of what has happened now, uh, for me to be found where I am, uh, it's really been uh, voices, cries from people, various uh, uh, sorts, from different quarters, from my home village, here in town, and uh, different organizations. And people saying, you know, uh, I think you ought to consider 
uh, offering yourself uh, in this way because we have noticed your type of leadership and I think this is the type of leadership Malawi needs at this time and you know you say you know how do you look at this and I said uh, they, they would say well um, uh, we feel like you could be of help to the broader Malawian society uh, rather than to uh, the church community that you have served we've observed how you have uh, uh, conducted yourself as a leader and, and not just in this country but uh, internationally and so would you consider this now the voices were uh, not just one time but over years until I prayed about it I sought God's face uh, to determine would this be a, another way of, of service and, um, and and so when I I had you know confidence and confirmation that uh, uh, this is it I said yes, and that's why you see me here. During the 2019 tripartite election, which the DPP claimed to have won, Chakwela joined forces with the UTM party leader, Dr. Salos Chilima, to fight the Malawi Electoral Commission for a poor election marred by a lot of irregularities. The court ruled out that the 2019 general elections had massive irregularities and that the fresh presidential election had to take place within 150 days. <laughs> We will stand with this flag. On 23rd June 2020, the Chakwela Chilema presidency under the Tonse Alliance defeated the incumbent president. We believe Malawians are looking for a grand vision that everyone ascribes to as a national development agenda and how we can together then determine programs that will help us move in that direction because the vision will have given us direction. We would want to see that the individual, the family, the community, and then the whole nation experience transformation. And, uh, and we believe that's possible. Malawians need to know or they need to describe what type of country do we want? Where do we want to be? What do we want to have? And, 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 and how can we together achieve that type of a state that we will say that is our destination. We are here, but we want to reach there. And these are the steps we take to reach that destination. Ladies and gentlemen, in the year 2020, we present to you the President and the Vice President of the Republic of Malawi. I, Dr. Lazarus Makati Chakra, will solemnly swear that I will well and truly perform the functions of the High Office of President of the Republic of Malawi and that I will preserve and defend the Constitution and that I would do right to all manner of people according to law, without fear or faith, affection or ill will. So help me, God. I, Dr. Saulos Klaus Chilima. I, Dr. Saulos Klaus Chilima. Do solemnly swear the will and truly perform functions of the High Office of Vice President, Republic of Malawi, and that I will preserve and defend the Constitution, and that I will do right to all manner of people, according to law, without fear or favor, affection or ill will, so help me God. <laughs>